I mean no offense to the actor, but dude, what the fudge? Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kyle, and if you can't tell from the background, we're doing another episode of The X-Files. This is season one, episode three, called Squeeze. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't know what this one is about. That's not really a whole lot to go on, is it? Um, the first one, not the first one, the second one, the last one was called Deep Throat, and I thought that was gonna have something to do with journalism. It didn't, so, you know, if Squeeze is descriptive of the episode, it's not descriptive enough for me to pull any tidbits out of it. I'm really into this show. I've found myself now on several occasions thinking about, like, what's going to happen next. And that's always a good sign of a show when you're just going about your day and you're like, what's going to happen next? What's going on with Scully and Mulder? Like, I'm interested. So let's see what is going on. Like if you want to like, leave a comment down below in the full version. Polls, early reactions, Twitter, and Discord are in the description. Let's get to some believing. Warning. This is a review, reaction, and analysis channel. Means I will talk, means I will pause, means I will mute. You've been warned. We have another shadowy government guy. There seem to be a lot of them. Is he gonna fall? What, what is happening? He's going like, <gasps> holy, no! What the fuck is that? What is that? What is this episode? No. Did, is this like a horror episode? He's just sitting alone in the dark. Like me. I think he's gonna die. Like, something with those eyes living in a dark sewer, it's not friendly. Oh my god, now it's in the vents! Oh. Squeeze? As in, it can squeeze through vents? Holy hell! No. No, no, this is not humanly possible. What happened to our maybe category? Like, where'd that go? Is this an alien? Is this just like a straight up alien? Are we confirming aliens? Episode three? He's, yeah, he's very, very dead. Oh my God, this is nightmare material. This is nightmare fuel. Like just be sitting home alone in your bed and something crawls through your vent. No, 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 no. I don't need this tonight. Like, for all of you who don't realize, I watch these before I go to bed when, like, everything is calm and quiet and my day is over <laughs> The truth is in your vents. Guess who I ran into from our class at Quantico? She's lunching and brunching. Two years out of the academy? How do you learn that? I lucked into the World Trade Center bombing. Word has it. You're on the violent crime section's fast track. Wonderful place to be. <laughs> Have you had any close encounters of the third time? Is that what everyone thinks I do? Mulder's ideas may be a bit out there, but he is a great agent. I have a feeling you're an asshole. Three murders began six weeks ago. Victims vary in age, race, gender, no known connections to each other. Each victim was found with their liver ripped out. That is very specific. Their hands. Ooh. This looks like an X-File. Do you want me to ask Mulder? Okay, but make sure he knows this is my case. And you, maybe you won't have to be Mrs. Spooky anymore. Don't like him. I don't like him. He's a jerk. Why would I make them so uncomfortable? Well, you Probably do have that effect. Do with your reputation. I have a reputation? Mm. Spooky. <laughs> do you think I'm spooky? So, Mulder, what do you think? Does this look like the work of Little Green Man? Gray. Excuse me? Gray. They're notorious for their extraction of terrestrial human livers. You can't be serious. Do you have any idea what liver and onions go for in reticulum? <laughs> go off, Mulder, go off. 
Uh, that vent is six inches by about 18. Is there a fingerprint? <laughs> we have a fingerprint! These others are from an X-File. It's 10 murders, Baltimore area. These prints were discovered at five of the 10 crime scenes. 10 murders. These two prints were lifted five years before he was born at Powhatan Mill. And these three were lifted five years before his mother was even born. I'm thinking this isn't going to do with alien. Going to be anything to do with aliens, mainly because of the tone that Mulder took with the jerky dude. Um, but also, maybe just like a mutant. Do we have lizard people in the X Files universe? Because he was in the sewer, right? And there's like legends about like alligators living in sewers. I don't know how that would fit into people being able to fit through events, though. I don't think aliens, though. I think we're just dealing with something very weird. I'm interested to see how they explain it. I'm guessing the liver is going to be very important because that's such a specific organ. The liver is just really responsible for removing toxins from the body. Is he eating it? Liver has a lot of enzymes in it. Okay, let's... What did we learn our first day at the Academy, Scully? Each fingerprint is unique. These are a perfect match. Well, what then? That, that, that this is the work of a hundred-year-old serial killer who's capable <laughs> of overpowering a healthy six-foot-two businessman? This is Colton's case. Our X-File dates back to 1903. We had it first. Look, why don't we agree to this? They'll have their investigation, we'll have ours. And yeah. Never the twain shall meet. Just don't tell them. You don't need their permission. You're grown up FBI agents. Do your thing. What you gonna do? 25 to 35 years of age with above average intelligence. How could they have the same fingerprints though if they're 25 years old? The extraction of the liver is the most significant detail. The liver possesses regenerative qualities. I'm pausing again because my brain thought regenerative properties, the age of this dude. So Mulder said this guy would have to be over 100 years old. Um, he's eating the liver. The liver is one of the very is like one of the only well, the skin, very few organs in the body that you can cut it in half and it will regrow the entire liver. Like when you transplant a liver into someone, you actually don't have to take out their entire liver and put it in someone else. Unlike the heart or the kidneys or the lungs or any of those other major organs, the liver can rejuvenate, it's regenerate itself. Um, I bet this guy is immortal, that he's eating livers, or maybe he's like cutting out other people's livers and putting them in himself, although I don't know how that would work. And it's allowing him to stay alive. Still not sure about the whole stretching thing through vents and 10 inch fingers. Or the eyes. What's that about? We will see. But I think that's where they're going with the liver. When this occurs, a serial killer may return in frustration to the site of a previous murder. I think our best course of action is to target these sites. We're looking for a male, 25 to 35, possibly wearing a uniform. That is, if you don't mind working in an area that's a bit more down to earth. Oh, I don't think you know how out of earth this actually is yet. Why do they all gotta be such jerks? They do like their stakeouts in this show. I think every episode so far has had a stakeout. <gasps> don't kill Mulder! <laughs> He's so nonchalant. Mulder, you are jeopardizing my stakeout. See? I am Scully. But Mulder's charm is working on me. He's such... He's just a goofball. Although when he finally breaks, because I think there's a lot of stuff being hidden underneath this humor, is gonna be big. I just know it. Like, his attitude is clearly a coping mechanism. Is the creepy dude in the vent? Oh, the creepy dude is in the vent. Looks like a normal person. So he can like stretch out at will. 
he looks normal most of the time. Oh, his eyes even look normal. They're doing a lie detector test. Are you an employee of the Baltimore Municipal Animal Control? Is it your intent to lie to me about anything here today? His face is so expressionless. Have you ever removed a liver from a human being? Yes? No. Have you ever killed a human being? No. He nails it. A plus. As far as I'm concerned, the subject did not kill those two people. What about the other questions? Oh, the jerky dude's gonna get upset. Maybe people at the office building confirmed the call to animal control regarding a bad smell. Doesn't explain what he was doing there that late at night. So he's one of the few civil servants we have with initiative and we busted him for it. Dana, he passed the test. His story checks out, he's not the guy. Lie detector tests are only accurate 70% of the time. Is number 11 the 100 year old question? Well, let me tell you, I had a reaction to that stupid question. And what the hell is this Powhatan Mill thing? My interpretation of those reactions... I don't need you or that machine telling me if Toombs was alive in 33. He's the guy. I'm letting him go. Why is he so upset? Tom, I want to thank you for letting me put in some time with the VCS. But I am officially assigned to the Expo. Yeah. Bye-bye. Go away. It seems like you were acting very territorial. In our investigations, you may not always agree with me, but at least you respect the journey. And if you want to continue working with them. Oh, he's such a good guy. You must have something more than your polygraph interpretation to back up this bizarre theory, and I have to see what it is. I'm with her. I would be like, I want, I, I mean, at least uh, Mulder's cases are interesting. Like, go for the ride, girl. Go for the ride. Oh, God, what is that? The way he just keeps his eyes, like, open without blinking. It's definitely him. Oh, this is, this is creepy. This is why you turn on your, like, your light. Oh, he's already in the house. This, mm-mm, mm-mm. Listen, if it's nighttime, my curtains be closed for this exact reason. You should not be able to look inside my house once the sun has gone down. Does anyone else do that? You always close your curtains at night? Well, okay then. There's that. I'm ready for it. It's going to be a jump scare. I'm ready for it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, God. Okay, it wasn't a jump scare, it's just freaking creepy! Oh, no, I don't, no. No. I need to sleep tonight. What's the matter, Colton? You worried I'm gonna solve your case? A report of you obstructing another officer's investigation might stick out on your personnel file. Look, Dana, whose side are you on? The, the victims. Oh! Oh, girl! I'm 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 so with her. I'm just I'm vibing with Scully. I think this is where it all began in 1903 on Exeter Street. He killed the guy above him. Maybe his neighbor played the Victrola too loud. Well, this must be Toombs' great grandfather. I think what we have to do is track Eugene Toombs. There's four down and one to go this year. Anything? Nope. He disappeared off the face of the earth. Never was born. Never married. Never died. I've been waiting 25 years for you. Sir? I called it quits in 1968 after 45 years as a cop. And those killings at Powhatan Mill. When I walked into that room, my heart went cold. It's like all the horrible acts that humans are capable of gave birth to some kind of monster. Unfortunately, how much help is this? There's a box in the trunk here. Get it for me, would you please? Now, this is all the evidence I've collected, officially and unofficially. Family members reported small personal effects missing in each case. Have you ever heard okay. the name Eugene Victor Toombs? <laughs> this is Toombs. They have a picture of him. Of course, that was him 30 years ago. 
and he hasn't aged a single day. Here's 103. The mattress. Move the mattress. Why is it up against the wall? Check this out. Yeah. It's down here. <laughs> Listen, you should call for backup. You should not go in there by yourself. No, Scully. No, 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 no. This is not a good idea. Oh, God, it's not even just going into another room. It's going down. Oh. Does he live in here? It looks like the wall's deteriorating. What the fudge is that? This is a nest. Oh, my God, what is that? It's like Maybe gooey. newspapers. Things don't put don't put your hand in there. God forbid. Don't not put your hand in there. It smells like <gasps> it's bile. Is it bile? I think it's bile. Oh, he's making the cocoon out of out of livers. No one could live in this. I don't think it's where he lives. I think it's where he hibernates. What if some genetic mutation could allow a man to awaken every thirty years? It'd have to be several genetic mutations, but... Okay. Well, we're going to need a surveillance team. Yeah, that'll take some finagling. Well, you go downtown and see what you can finagle. It just occurred to me that they don't know yet that he can, like, fit through really small spaces. So I bet he never even has to come in through the front door. Because in the first scene, we saw him moving through the sewers. So I bet he just comes in and out of this building through the sewers. It won't even matter if Mulder is outside. He needs to be outside, not staying in this room, waiting for him by himself. So if Mulder is outside, they're just never even going to see him come and go. Oh, this is a freaky-ass episode. Freaky, freaky, freaky. Here we go. Oh my god, he's there. Well, screw that, he doesn't even have to come in and out of the building. He's just there. Oh my gosh. They had to do like very specific lighting for this episode to create some of these like silhouette things, right? Scully and I will be back to relieve you in eight hours if he doesn't show. Right here. You got it. Don't bother going down there. I had the stakeout called off. You can't do that. Let me call Mulder. Let me tell him the news. Hit him with the phone! what it takes to climb the ladder, Colton. He doesn't even care whether or not this guy could be killing people. All he cares about is his stupid career. Like, to call off the stakeout of a possible murder suspect, I have a hard time believing that his superior would even do that. Like, the, the fallout that you would hit if this guy kills another person and you're the supervisor who called off the stakeout? Mulder, he must have gone out since Colton gave us the night off, and so we filed a complaint against him. Is that why he took her necklace? He's gonna go after her? Oh my god. Oh, run! Don't even look up, just run! Turn on the lights, get in the corner, get your gun. Oh. It's not going to get us quota this year. What is he doing? Look at him. He's building another nest. The preliminary medical exam revealed quite abnormal development in the muscular and skeletal system. Now look at this guy, I think. It ain't enough. Oh, he's totally not staying in here. He's he's gonna escape. I mean no offense to the actor, but dude, what the fudge? <sighs> All right, that was my reaction to X-Files season one, episode three, Squeeze. And um, yeah, okay, now, now I get it. 
why it was called Squeeze. That was a really creepy episode. Like, they're really pumping up the creep factor. The last episode, Deep Throat, was like really tense when Mulder got taken by the military people. This one was like really creepy. So I'm really interested to see where the heck this series is going to go. I kind of want to watch another episode, but I, I can't can't so um one thing i will say that i really really liked was the actor even though like he made my skin crawl um he played his part of being really creepy really well because he just didn't seem human like i think that's what the episode was going for that he's not human and i don't think he thinks human thoughts i don't think he behaves in human ways i mean he just something something is wrong with him and i do think that he was a psychopath or like a serial killer because he was taking trophies he wasn't just killing for nourishment clearly he was taking trophies and actually we don't know if he was killing for nourishment that was something i said we don't know if he actually was killing to eat the livers in some way so much as he seemed to be using the liver bile to make his nests so maybe he stays young all on his own um just i don't know we there were so just like the past two episodes so many unanswered questions that we were left with if he does get out are scully and Mulder going to be called back or maybe they won't even know maybe he'll get out but it won't be like reported to the fbi and scully and Mulder will just never actually be tipped off that he escaped or maybe he'll actually wait quite a while before he escapes maybe he got enough livers so yeah he must have been eating them right he must have been doing something with them because he always took a specific number so maybe he got enough livers so maybe like hibernate for 10 or 20 years instead of 30 years and he'll just wait 10 years I, I don't know this was just a really freaky episode one thing i really like though is that this episode did something different than a lot of cop and procedural episodes or tv shows which is they showed the aftermath this guy was put in an institution which means that he probably had some kind of ruling or judgment against him for the case because a lot of times procedural shows what they'll do is they'll show you all of the stuff that leads up to getting the bad guy and the cops will act like once they've arrested the bad guy the case is closed when in reality they've just arrested them you know unless they have built a case and this was like one of my biggest complaints with bones a lot of the times where it was like unless you've built an airtight case that a defense lawyer can't puncture there is a good chance that a jury is gonna have a reasonable doubt um and like this show i can only imagine how hard it would be to prosecute some of these cases in front of an actual jury because if the cops are barely believing what they're investigating, imagine just people pulled off the street who are hearing it through the um, voice of a prosecutor, not a prosecutor, a defense attorney, not a defense attorney, a prosecutor, yeah. And the defense attorney would be like, hey, this is stupid. So I like that they showed us the aftermath that he was not only caught, he was not only arrested, but then he was put in a place for... I'm guessing crazy people, <laughs> violently crazy people. This was another great episode. What is the next episode called? Conduit. Electricity? Lightning? I don't know. If you would like to, please leave a like and a comment. Full version polls, early reactions, Discord and Twitter are in the description. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.